This is a DAS, or direct attached storage. It's where I offload my AI models, virtual machines, and video backups. And because it's supposed to be directly attached to my computer, despite my best efforts to get it as far away from my computer as possible, because it's loud and hot, I wasn't able to get it far enough away, not as far away as I can an ass. Uh, <laughs> uh NAS. <sighs> not the other thing. So far I've had this for a couple of months and I like it way better than my previous NAS that I had 12 years ago. We didn't part on the best of terms. It stopped working and I couldn't figure out how to basically get it working again. But both the DAS and the NAS use spinning hard disks inside, which sounds kind of like that all the time. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. It was for demonstration purposes. And I think I got this to a point where it's a lot quieter and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Hello, old chaps. NT5 matched pair. Look at those serial numbers, old school. There, no, this is for the, uh, the microphone stand. That's so that I can listen to the audio coming from the NAS in an isolated way, somewhat isolated. Excuse me, Mr. Nass, how do you think you performed today? Oh yeah, I, uh, you know, we went out there, we did our best, and the team was amazing. <laughs> First, I wanna get some sound samples of what this is gonna sound like in the box. It's kind of like an echo chamber, this little cabinet here. So it's going to amplify the sound coming from the NAS too, which is not ideal. But I gotta put it somewhere, and this is a nice little rack type of setup here. It's a bookshelf, it used to be a bookshelf. Now tech is taking over. But it's also sort of hollow, and that's gonna sound like a drum. And if you're wondering whether we're gonna get any kind of uh, interesting sound here, well, this is a pretty sensitive microphone. I bet you didn't think you were gonna get this kind of video on this channel, did you? I'm starting an OnlyFans, by the way. All right, to get that NAS really kicking, we need to copy some files to it. Let's get some big files here. Here's a good one. Llama 3.170 billion instruct. This one is 141 gigabytes. Sounds about right. And let's drag that over. There it goes. I am hearing some sounds. Shh, okay, I'll be quiet. And just so I know what this is, this is no padding, so uh, let's call this stage one. Now, what do you normally isolate physical things with? You know, like when you put a computer in a box, you use foam. And this happens to be a really nice piece of foam that fits that perfectly because it was in the box with it. Only thing I did was tear off this piece so that I can have access to all these ports on the front. So I'm gonna sit that NAS directly in here. Okay, this foam allowed me to lift the NAS off of the floor and give it some padding all the way around. But now that I'm listening to it, I don't know if that's actually helping or hurting it. I guess the audio recording is gonna be able to tell. Well, this is stage two, and it's still kind of annoying. I still hear it very clearly. So then I did some more research, and I don't know how I came upon this, but I found this, speaker isolation feet. What? I mean, <laughs> I've seen speaker isolation pads made out of foam, which is kind of similar to what I did there, but what if I use these together with the foam? So I just had to try it. I promptly ordered this. And $20 is not a ridiculously expensive thing if it's gonna quiet that thing down. Surprise, I already have them. I've actually been using these for the last few weeks. This is not sponsored, just thought it was really cool. And if you have this issue, these might help you out. It helped me out. It says, feed for speakers and subwoofers. I'll link to these down below in case you wanna buy these yourself. It's a very satisfying little sound. Anyway, since I got these, I noticed what I think is a big drop in the clanking levels. So it's all subjective, I know, but now we're gonna measure it and get an objective answer, hopefully. So I'm gonna stick this rubber feet to get more traction on the bottom. The stickers just stick to the feet. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's record this thing. I tell you what, I can still hear it, but it's not as annoying because before it was this really low rumbly sound and now it's just more of a scratchy sound. <laughs> I think this one is more tolerable. 
even though it's still present. All right, this is stage three. I'm gonna tell you one thing though. Now that I'm in my office, I cannot hear that rumbling. Before I was able to hear it, I think there's some kind of a echo chamber buildup that's being dispersed now by the springs, by the foam. A beautiful sound sometimes is the one you can't hear. And those things really freaking help out. I'm gonna take a bit of each one of these from stage one, stage two, and stage three. I'm gonna get them all into one file and compare them. Well. This is what the three waveforms look like. This is the first stage, second stage, third stage. Uh, I'm gonna increase the volume of these. Let's normalize this. That way they all come up equally in volume. And here's a little peak right here. I'm gonna remove that peak because it looks like it's not part of that sound. Now there's a lot of the NAS fan sound here as well, but I'm mostly interested in the knocking. Is there a way to remove that fan only? Let's see. Denoise. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's apply that. All right, I think I've got it to a point where we got rid of the noise. That didn't completely get rid of the noise, but most of it. What we're looking for is the knocking. So let me try to normalize this one more time. Yeah, you can kind of visually see the difference here too. This is the first stage. We got the loudest knocks here. This is where it reaches peak level. Then we got the middle section and then we've got the end. Let's listen to this. Still knocking on that last one, but there is less oomph to it. Let's select this, go to window. Amplitude statistics, scan selection. Okay, peak amplitude minus 0.1, RMS histogram. Let's take a look at the third selection. That's what I'm mostly interested in. And let's go to general statistics, scan. And we're at minus 4.11, nice. There's the histogram. Look where the decibel range is now. We're between, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it's lower than negative 30 now for the RMS, root mean squared. Oh, uh, root mean square or simply RMS watts refers to continuous power handling of a speaker or a subwoofer or how much continuous power the amplifier can output. Basically, it's not peaks, it's continuous. So it measures over a range. So we got about four decibels in peak reduction of those knocks, because those are the highest level that we've seen. This is a pretty noticeable difference in perceived loudness. So I'd say, that was a successful experiment and I'm glad I did it. And hopefully this might help anybody out there with this similar issue. If you're hearing these kinds of problems with your own NAS or DAS, you could use these little pads. You can use a combination of foam with the pads. Basically the more isolation you do, the better generally until a certain point. But I found this little surprise pretty unexpected and I'm glad I found it. Anyway, there's some NASes coming out that are SSD only. There's already some out, but they're still pretty pricey. There's some new ones coming out out in the fall. I'm thinking about maybe getting some in here. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. And if you missed my video about the DAS and how I tried to extend it using long cables, you can check it out right over here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.